In this video, we show you how to configure door monitoring and alerts in Matrix 1. Before you start, you need to establish a connection to an outgoing email server. Usually, this is an SMTP server. Go to System, Administration, Email Configuration, Email Server and adapt the configuration to your IT settings. Click on Save. To test your configuration, enter your email in the field below and click on Send Test Email. Go to Devices, Devices to configure the inputs, outputs, and the alarms on the readers you need. Set the door open time to 90 seconds. This setting will trigger an alarm as soon as the door remains open for longer than 90 seconds after a regular door opening. Enter the desired duration of the alarm in the field Alarm Duration and save your configuration. Repeat this step for other readers if desired. Go to Reader function and set the option Alarm Relay Number to the correct output if necessary. Also, select the appropriate input for the door status contact. Then transfer the data onto the Access Manager. Now you have configured a terminal with two readers, customized the alarm configuration and set the required outputs and inputs. Log in as the person in charge of your alarms, for example your security manager. You can select which events should trigger an alarm on your email account and which events you want to see in the info center. Open the tab Self-Service and go to Notification Actions. First, select Info Center. Allocate all notifications that you want to see in the info center. Click Save and go back. Then click on Email Notifications. Allocate all notifications that you want to receive by email and save your selection. Now that we have configured the notifications, we will show you how to monitor the doors and perform some actions on the readers and doors. To monitor the doors, you need to select and allocate them. Go to Access, Door Monitoring, Door Selection. Create a new record, name it and select the doors you want to monitor. Repeat this step if desired. There are two scenarios that Matrix 1 can cover. First, a user can select which group of doors is displayed. This is useful if a user wants to monitor a large number of doors that cannot be displayed clearly in a pop-up window. Second, a user has a fixed selection of doors. This is convenient if there are not many doors because the selection of doors is no longer required. When switching from one scenario to the other, users have to log out and log in again. For scenario number one, the allocated door selection stays empty. When clicking on Status Display, you need to select the doors you want to see.
Change the selection if desired. For scenario number two, you need to navigate to Allocate door selection and select the doors you want to see. Save your selection. Additionally, log out and log in again. Navigate to Access Door Monitoring Allocate Door Selection to check your settings. Click on Status Display to see the status of the selected doors. In the Action column, you can use the presets of door actions. Click on Open Briefly to open a specific door for the period of the door release pulse length. Click on Permanent Opening with Limitation to open a specific door permanently until the end of the next permanent opening interval, regardless of the target status. Click on Permanent Opening to open a specific door permanently, regardless of the target status. Permanent openings must be ended manually. Click on End Permanent Opening to reset the specific door to the target status after a permanent opening. In the column Target Status, you can have statuses like Permanent Open, Office Release, No Access, Access, Office Release Possible. In the column Different Status, you can have statuses like Released, Unknown, Open, Forced Entry, Door Offline. Use the buttons on top to perform the same actions on all listed doors. Let's simulate a forced entry by opening the door without booking. The different status changes to forced entry. At the same time, an event notification is sent to the email account. You have now successfully set up door monitoring and alerts.